The purpose of this video is, is to introduce the idea of a left-hand side equals right-hand side proof. The reason why we uh, do these proofs is because uh, it just gives me a way to be very specific about what I want in your induction proofs. Okay, so this is, an in, this is not induction. This is just a left-hand side equals right-hand side proof. Induction proofs will include a left-hand side equals right-hand side proof. So first, so with, in, with induction one, uh, we actually don't do induction. We just do left-hand side equals right-hand side. All right, so a left-hand side equals right-hand side proof uh, starts with the symbol LHS, which stands for left-hand side. And you write down what's on the left-hand side of the equality that you're trying to prove. All right. And so, um, so the left-hand side is this sum from 1 to 3 of AI plus BI. Okay, now exp um, using the definition of sigma notation, we can write this out as A1 plus B1 plus A2 plus B2 plus A3 plus B3. All right, now the li uh, each line in a left-hand side equals right-hand side proof needs a justification. So I'll put a little semicolon there and I'll provide a justification why I was able to make that step here. Um, this, is the def this is really just the definition of this notation. Okay, so that's my justification. Now, you might be saying, well, why didn't I include a justification here? You could include a justification here, but there's not a whole lot to it. All I did was just write down left-hand side. So my justification here could be I'll write down left-hand side. I'm okay if you don't have this if you don't justify the first equality and the left-hand side equals right-hand side proof because um, that's just saying that this is the left-hand side. But from there on out, I would like, would like justifications. Okay, now this we can rewrite as A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus B1 plus B2 plus B3. And our justification here, let's see, this is, um, let me give myself a little room here. Um, my justification there is that plus can be done in any order. Now, to be technical, uh, technically this isn't entirely correct, um, but it gets the idea across. And all I'm really concerned with is that you is that you justify how you got from one step to the next. Um, you'll uh, you'll see from the uh, proofs worksheets that we did before and when we studied proof before, the reading in the Zy books, this is consistent with that idea is that you justify every line. Okay, so in any case, um, so to be really technical, um, instead of having this justification that plus can be done in any order, the better way to say it would be addition is associative and commutative. And if you write that, that's fine. 
but if you just run, want to say plus can be done in any order, you want to be um, uh, you don't have to be entirely exact with your justifications is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right. Now this is the sum from i equals one to three a i. Again, this is the definition. of sigma notation. Now notice that this is equal to the right-hand side. You don't need to justify that this is equal to the right-hand side. That's just, um, that's clear. Um, and that's the end of our proof. Remember, we put a little box at the end. So let me, um, so let's look at uh, our left-hand side equals right-hand side proof here in all of its beauty. Um, let me just mention a few things about it. Um, each line follows from the, the one that came before. There's no skipping of steps, right? There's no skipping steps. Um, each line leads to the next. That's important, that's logical flow, and everything is justified. Everything is justified. We have justifications that I'm circling here for each of the uh, lines in the proof. Right, so left-hand side equals right-hand side proof.